You know, sometimes people struggle when they actually try to put plants together to make a planting combination to look, look good. And you know, there's two things which I think people all should remember as secrets of success. One is that flowers are secondary and foliage is the most important element because foliage is enduring where flowers come and go. The other thing is to actually use plenty of variation and lots of light height in your planting, particularly in the foreground, because that increases the depth of the planting, it increases the perspective, and it just makes that planting much more interesting. You know, if you're starting a new garden or you're planting a new bed, there is a temptation actually to truck along to the garden centre and actually go and buy everything that's looking good at a moment in time, in which case you'll have a relatively short season of interest. And that's why I say, you know, if you start with the foliage which lasts and then you introduce plants which flower at different times of the year, then you can have seasonal highlights. So for example, if you were doing a white and green scheme, you know, you might start with evergreens like Choisia tenata, which has green foliage and white flowers. You might introduce a variegated shrub like Cornus alba sibirica variegata. But then of course you can add more seasonal white, maybe with white narcissi for spring, perhaps with hydrangea paniculata for late summer and into autumn, snowdrops for winter, you know, even white flowering winter heathers which flower for a long time. You know, and a few seasonal annuals like cosmos, white cosmos for summer, which will go on for weeks.